so this is part two of the documentary I'm going to do for casting uh, a mirror blank. It's plate glass. It's about 15 inches in diameter, not quite. Um, so what you see here is I've uh, got the glass all uh, rounded up true uh, to the diameter exactly the way I wanted it. Um, some parts of it, it, it might be a millimeter or so, a little bit wide, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to put it back on the table and uh, just finalize the, the truing of the roundness of it later. But right now what you see is this, uh, this uh, it's a pan and it's dark colored. This is actually stainless steel and uh, the first time when you fire stainless steel at a high temperatures, you know, as we're getting at, uh, this one's been fired to uh, just under 1900 degrees before but uh, for fusing blanks I uh, typically use about 1550 degrees but the first time you fire it it turned black and the carbon in the in the steel comes out and uh, when you're done with the first uh, casting uh, the first time you're using that steel mold stainless steel mold um, there's this soot like uh, soot from a fireplace just everywhere inside the oven so you gotta clean that out but after that it just uh, really remains black a little bit of soot still comes out but not very much um, by the time it comes out and, and falls all, all over the place the uh, glass has been solidified so it's really not a big deal just the first time that you use it it uh, produces a, a lot of soot you gotta clean it all up so here it is um, two discs um, they're just about 15 inches in diameter and uh, I put them in this stainless steel pan and uh, in the bottom of the pan I put uh, a couple inches of sand just ordinary ordinary sand in the bottom of it and uh, what that does is it gives me uh, a good a good base this pan is actually a little bit curved on the bottom um, you can't really see it here it curves inwards and it's narrower at the bottom than it is at the top so I put sand in it and sand has a super high mel melting temperature of I think it's about 25 or 2700 degrees and the oven doesn't get that high or I don't run it that high I don't, I don't think it can get that high so I put a bit of sand in the bottom of it and I clean the, the two discs of uh, glass really well I use mostly water, but I also use uh, a little bit of uh, automotive uh, brake cleaner. Um, it evaporates really fast and, and uh, helps uh, get some of the uh, stuff off the glass, oils, and that might be from your fingers and smears and smudges and stuff. So I use that and, and, and some more water. So the two discs are in there. And uh, the white uh, perimeter, what you see, is a uh, ceramic infused fiber felt you can you can see it move like this and it's a uh, it is a felt and you can get it in several mil several little millimeters thick however you want it and what I've done here is I've uh, um, went around the perimeter of the mirror now the glass does not stick to the ceramic infused felt it's like a really thick ceramic fiber paper. Um, and the reason I do that is because you don't want the glass to touch the stainless steel because if it does, it will stick to it. And during the annealing process and the slow cool process over several days, it could crack. And I've had a lot of uh, trials and and errors and and uh, processes to to get that tweaked right. So I, I went around the, the perimeter over the blank, the two discs, with this uh, ceramic uh, fiber felt or, or really thick paper, and uh, where the seam is, um, here's the seam there. I put a thin piece of uh, ceramic paper behind that, and uh, what will happen is uh, in the oven during the firing, um, the organic binders that are in the in the ceramic felt and the paper will burn out 
and uh, it's really stinky and really smoky and and uh, it's pretty nasty um, the seam there where the paper is the paper will all, all burn out it will leave a film of uh, ceramic dust right there where that seam is so the glass can't stick to the can't stick to the mold so that's where I was at I uh, I rounded those two discs up true to the diameter I wanted them I got the mold out and, and uh, ready to go and uh, put a bit of sand in it um, carefully cleaned and stacked the two uh, discs of glass inside the mold and then I put the uh, um, measured uh, ceramic fiber felt um, tucked it in there around the perimeter of the glass and uh, where the seam was I put some ceramic fiber paper so the paper will burn out the ceramic uh, dust will stay behind and keep the glass from sticking to the mold so that's where I'm at next and next I'm gonna load it into the, to the uh, glass oven and uh, the next video I'll uh, get it all leveled up inside the oven um, you have to very carefully level the mold in there the glass in there because if you uh, don't level the mold in the glass um, once it becomes uh, 1550 degrees is where I'm going to fuse that because it becomes quite pliable it will find its own level so if you don't level it up really well you'll get a good wedge so we, we don't want that so we're going to level up really good and then uh, we'll start up the glass oven it'll take a few days to complete um, I'll have another little video in there um, when it's time to uh, drop the temperature down to the annealing process and uh, we'll go from there and then it's just kind of a waiting game till it gets done to, to see if it's going to work out but usually it does it takes a lot of trial and error I've had a lot of error and uh, <laughs> but uh, pretty much nowadays I have mostly success so but that's where I'm at on this project and I just want to document that thanks for watching